And hello, it's FA Cup weekend, the third round. And it's Barrow v Rochdale at Holker Stadium. And it's nil nil at the moment, four minutes played. Hopefully this will be an exciting game between the League One and the National League side. Rochdale are trying to do there, trying to get Ollie Rathbone on the ball in the hole. You know, the, the barrel with being set up as a 4 4 2. Got Danny Livesey and Musa Diaro not going to want to come out of that hole. So to get Rathbone on the ball, turn and running at them seems to be, um, you know, be a, it's a good Rochdale idea. Rochdale taking the free, the free kick. kick. Andrew was the target, but Barrow are able of course, to Rochdale now had camps. a bit of a scare then at the Gallagher Stadium just down the road. Rochdale. For me, Mason, at Maston United, the Stones were very unlucky. Not to win that game. But in the replay, Rochdale done the business. Here is Davis. Looking for camps. On the other hand, Barrow did do the business against their League One team. They knocked out Bristol Rovers. Very high and very quickly whenever Rochdale get the ball. And the question is, can they keep that up? And Rochdale are in the all red. And Barrow are wearing the white shirts with blue sleeves. Hopefully the stream is working okay. Back challenging Camps once again, but Callum Camps is able to shrug him off. And the low ball into the penalty area was aimed for Camps. Good chance there for Watch there, watch there, pretty there. much on top. Driving forward there, Matty Rafferty Lund. there, There's nearly scoring. Harrison, but he shrugged that one off and you know, got to the edge of the box and didn't panic, looked wide and found, found the fullback who put a nice ball across. Good crossing from number two, and good it. defending from Anderton, number three for Barrow. And Rochdale have their first corner, a real ebb and flow to this cup tie. Corner Maybe now for stages. Rochdale on the right. In comes the corner, it's not a good one, and time, Barrow should clear it. A kind of, so yep, they're bringing the ball forward, Maybe number eight. Could this be a chance for Barrow? Barrow breaking two, and that's going to be a free kick to Barrow. Number nine, Bennett was fouled. And the captain, number ten, for Watchdale, getting a talking to from the referee. Cleverly make the foul in to stop uh, Barrow pushing, pushing forward. And Jordan Williams is over the free kick. And Jordan Williams scored this and give Barrow a lead in this time. Maybe a step into the fourth round, who knows? Oh, well, Anderson yeah, number 11 is stepping up. Yeah, they've got some big lads in there, Barrow as well, Diara. In good back. position, here comes the free kick. It's not the crowd, good. And Rochdale should deal with it. They're on the ball. But they've lost it. Chance for once again. nothing there Cut for. Well the and it's cleared up the field by Rochdale. And that will be played back to the keeper. Ball, Bailey at the other end. And John Flat making his Barrow debut on loan from Wolves. He was part of the Cheltenham team, which got promotion back into the Football League last season but it's uh, an interesting choice because goalkeepers like to have lines of communication with their defenders built on experience and he's not had that time w without a doubt um, you know they probably worked on it yesterday if any, both if teams um, are in the playoffs in their respective divisions Barrow looking for a, a return to the Football League first time since they were voted out in 1972 Replaced by Hereford United. I'm sure the name Radford is in your head. You must have seen that on football folks today. Ronnie Radford's famous goal against Newcastle United. As for Rochdale, they are having an unbelievable season. 
the fortunes of which they'll be the basement league team have certainly put that history behind them and are looking towards the championship of course Rochdale are from Manchester the greater Manchester area and Barrow just down the road from Cumbria more famously Colour United being their main rivals the last third round tie here in 1968 when 16,000 saw Leicester City win here by two goals to one then Barrow were a football league club they're looking to already call Barrow again on this left side this cleared up the field they still have some work to do and um, they've got plenty of work to do here they'll be a throw into Barrow you know, the, the owner's coming they've got an American owner and he's invested heavily into the club so they're despite them being way out in the wilderness they're attracting players they're starting to uh, make headway and you've got four cocks there and trying to implement implement his philosophy onto the football club but ultimately win, winning games and where they are in the in league one you know, i think they're nine points off the top there's not it's, there's not a lot in it so a good second half of the season for barrow can see could see them in league two barrow actually trained not too far from rochdale just outside manchester they share the academy with Rochdale, don't they? They do, yeah. So there's a good relationship between the two clubs. Barrow is in Cumbria, not Manchester. Only come to this part of Cumbria on match day. Well, I suppose the distance between Rochdale and Barrow is not that far own. away. Made his money in telecommunications. In Quick Dallas, look at there teams is. for Barrow. Their team is Fulton, Flat and Gold, Two died. Beasley. Five legacy, six the Dorea, three Wilma Anderton, eighteen is Hughes, eight Harvey, twenty-one Rowe, eleven Williams, twenty Harris, nine Benny, for Rochdale, twenty-five is Logan, two Rafferty, six McGarvey, four McNulty, eight Lude, the player of the month. In League One, 18, Eighteen Key, so Ten Camps, uh, Fourteen Rafa Bone, Nine Andrew, Forty Ian Henderson and Nineteen Davis. In both the Premier League and the Football As League. Barrow take this throw in. Found a different way. Long leaping for Rochdale. And then McNulty. Of course, when Norwich City first won the League Cup, they actually beat Rochdale in that League Cup final when the League Cup final was played over two legs. Of course, the first winners of the League Cup were, of course, Aston Villa. Strange enough, they beat Rotherham United. So back then, a lot of the top teams didn't really take much interest in the League Cup. A bit like today, really, isn't it? Well to keep the ball in play still on the attack down this left comes to nothing that's no, poor from Barrow they've lost it in a bad area and this could be a chance but Andrews just swung and he went nowhere but they got a throw in just by the corner flag better than nothing I suppose for Rochdale a long throw in could be taken maybe Henderson could get on the end of it end of it I can the see their number nine in the, in the box. The thumbing comes in and flat the just grabs it. it. Paul Cox took Mansfield Town back into the Football League four years ago. So well, four sort of people CV, are listening to me wherever you are. Success. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. I do try my best. Remember, this is a free. I do not get paid for this. It's kind of a passion. Or as some people will put it, a pure, a poor sadness. But I love it. Football at all levels, it rocks. And Panini football is where you get to hear commentary from all the English leagues. And of course, the FA Cup. Initially holding up Williams, but Barrow have the throw in. As Barrow take the throw in in their own half by the main stand by the Flight Emirates. 
Head foot. Always starts off with a head of steam and then it set, settles down. Nobody, okay. nobody really, nobody really. The FA Cup's first sponsor was in the early 90s. Was Little Woods. The next team to put the foot on the ball and just string a few passes then together. Then Axa, then Budweiser, the then of course the Emirates took over the sponsorship Rochelle of the FA the Cup. If I've missed a sponsor among that lot, you can always tell me which one I missed. Briefly saw Keith Hill there, the Rochdale manager. Who has twice Hello. From the fourth tier of Q U A D R I A C. How are you, sir? Thank you for tuning in. Head into the championship for the first time after 88 consecutive seasons in the lower leagues. You, and if you're expecting me to make my prediction who's going to win the FA Cup third round I'll tell you now there are about 8 or 9 teams who can win the FA Cup I suppose you've got to count Barrow and Rochdale out of the running because neither of those teams are going to win the FA Cup the best these two could hope for maybe the 4th round or 5th round points behind second place Rochdale might just make it to the quarterfinals but that'll be as far Hill. as they can go the the there'll be no trip to Wembley Stadium for Rambo either of these teams right, in the FA Cup but they might be in the playoffs as Andrew's shot goes in well wide off the left post the, uh, Stephen Davies, but Davies was blocked off and he thought 25 yards out you know he thought he'd have a goal Barrow did well to block it Samuel Andrews wins a corner for Rochdale it's out on the left 19 will swing in Davies and it will be 1-0 to the Rochdale Ian Henderson has opened the scoring for the Dale so Rochdale have one foot in the FA Cup fourth round and such a simple goal when it came. Corner swung in, and there was Henderson yeah, just to head it into the, the goal. Easy goal, right into the. From a defensive point of view, Barrow will be bitterly disappointed. Easy. And into the right it goes. No chance for Barrow. Good goal indeed. Well worked. And he's just, he's literally gone and then stopped. And Keyfield is Mr. Rochdale, he's been at the helm for a long time. Ian Henderson's fifth in his last four games. He's Rochdale's man in four, and he showed why then. And here's Beely with the long throw for Barrow. Barrow looking to get straight back in, but they might just do it but they won't they've still got the ball out so at the edge of the area back in keep the punches out for Rochdale and that'll be a corner to the barrel and it'll be Rafferty to take it at the moment it's Brentford 2 Eastling nil. So will the set piece provide Barrow with a route back into this FA Cup time? Oh, the corner's about to be taken. It's swung in, and it will be punched out by the goalkeeper. Not far enough. Can Barrow scramble in? No, the referee has given a free kick to Rochdale. On both occasions there, managed to get his fist to the ball under under massive pressure. And then the, sec the second, I think... Diara just fouling one of the one of the Rochdale players. Don't see much in it to be honest. But already Paul Cox will have noted Conrad Logan's uncomfortable nature underneath a couple of high balls. That'll be a tactic because he's a small goalkeeper. They'll want to, you know, just especially at that level, it can be just put it on him. Can't <coughs> no deal. That's a very good ball, and here is Davis. 
Good shot by Davies, a bit too far out, but it was worth a try, I suppose. Just took it in on the left hand side and nudged it to nudged it past Diara and then managed to get his shot off from 25 Ooh, yards. Just the over. Shot wasn't, shot wasn't great, but the way he's fashioned the shot was. was and the ball nearly, nearly went out of the, the ground. Full of, full of confidence. Rochdale came into this game on the back of. 90 minutes gone and Rochdale are in the lead. They do. They look like they know what they're doing. They look very well organised. I look at. Like Stephen Davis, he's got 11 goals. Henderson's got 10, well now it, now 11, and they look like they know how to go forward. They've got a method, a method of what they do. They're very no nonsense at the back, and um, they seem like they're uh, they've got it worked out. They come up to the game from the halfway line. Oh, that's a poor ball played here, and that'll go out for a goal kick to the Barrow. Well, this really is a golden age for the club. I don't know what Camps was doing there. Years, captain for Rochdale. Considered perennial strugglers in the football league, and they were also vulnerable to FA Cup shocks. FC United and Manchester, the last team to beat them back in 2010. But if you go back the to the 1970s and 80s, a season went by. Stand. The main stand is known the as now. Flat takes a long kick out. Resources, and that'll be a throw into Barrow. He knows, he, knows, he knows this level. He's done it before. He's Long throw team, taken. Watch still head it away. It's put in there by Barrow in 18 yards. But the keeper will get it, no problem. And he will just we'll kick the ball long. Back in 2015. And they're looking to improve no, going anywhere. Bit of scrappy play now. I like the fact that he He's playing young players as well. He's got a good, he's got a good mixture. He's not afraid of some of these. Can Barrow get back in this time? Good nutmeg. No I think he's won a free Williams kick number 11. And it's another free kick for Barrow. In a promising position. Oh, will Williams take the free the kick? That their game plan, trying to get wide and get their crosses in to, to for a supply. And Williams mm, being one of the, it's a bit of a naughty foul the, there. The main threats, and he's done that a couple of times. Definitely Williams blocked him off. His way down the left -hand side and get but the, the Watchdale play won't get booked for that. It will be Having Williams to swing it in, and maybe Barrow can North take the lead. Team, the chance. So well in the FA Cup last season. See what happens here. The second round, free kick just about to be taken. Out on the left by the, the ward group, the shaving foam from the by the touchline, free kick put in, and it's headed away by Rochdale, and that will be a corner for the Barrow, keen red alert there for Rochdale, good defending, and he spent a lot of time on this kind of thing on the training ground because it can be a big advantage to you, especially at that level. Barrow came from a goal down to beat Bristol Rovers in the comes. second round, looking to equalise Yeah, go out for a goal that kick, nothing from that corner. So they'll get another Barrow chance. The big, the bigger side, so when they swung in, have to be, have to be very and a good header from Lud. Player of the month in League right 2. On, right on the six yard line. Our League 1, sorry. At the midpoint of the first half, Barrow bit domination this for, for this Barrow, but they've got to make it count. All oh, coming in. Oh, no, out comes in nothing. And, it's too deep this time. Will try and, and Barrow will have to start all over again in the final third. Number Steps three, looking what can he do? Tries to play a long bowl in. It might work, might work. Good save from the keeper. And on the second attempt. The Rochdale keeper gathers the ball. Fair play to the keeper. They're all peeling off at the back stick, waiting to go in. And Rochdale have just pulled, come out, they've switched off. Should have, he's brought the ball down, the way he's brought the ball down there. He should have, Bennett's got to do better. And Diara just not got a good connection on the follow-up. Mm. Well, Maybe so, well but that was good goalkeeping. As Rochdale yeah, come forward. Might want a second just to level the nerves. Middle of the park. Rochdale trying to muster some possession. 
Go for the way with it. No, playing it back up number two for Watchdale. Plays the ball in. Just by the corner flag now on the left. Not really going anywhere. And Andrew will just play a poor ball. I think Watchdale have just won a free kick. It's been quite a as far as tackles goes, been quite a timid affair, especially, you know, I'd expect, I'd expect to have seen a few Benny more. Benny who was the defender. Well, they get a bit of a talking to by the referee. Um, the referee so far has handled the game very well. He's, part, he's coming from the side, and that is definitely a free kick. Just a word and Benny Bennett. won't receive a caution for that. Just a telling off. Still be thinking about the opportunity he missed. And on with the game we go. I think if, if they don't if they don't score today, he'll go home with that one, and it'll it'll relive it and relive it. So it's, it's uh, you know, great pretty far out for Watchdale, but it's going to be put straight in the box, and that will be headed out by Barrow. And Barrow will win a free kick themselves. I thought Barrow were going to take quick, but they haven't. See the energy with which Rochdale go forward and come back. You know the ball broke then. You see Henderson, who's the wide man, sprinting back to get back in position. It shows how Keith Hill drills his players and you know how they respond to him. Really, they obviously like working under him because I know as a group of players, if you're not pulling in the in the right direction for your manager, you don't do that sort of thing. He was the manager There's something of the here for Barrow. No, Rochdale clear. So far, we've seen halfway Davis. line and it's. To flat. We'll kick it back upfield. It's, no, it's full to watch there, but it's on a halfway line. No damage done of yet. We're still trying to bring this ball forward down the left. And it's to the middle of the park. Back out to the left. Uh, oh, it could be a chance if he can get the ball in. Good play this from Rochdale. Are we going to have a second? No. So I think we, yep, goal. it's a goal yeah, kick to, to the barrel. Good bits of play now. Rochdale enjoying themselves. You no know, different bits of rotation. Got well, another forward. score. Nice we've got Lincoln one, anyway, Ipswich one. Could we get a shock at Sissel Bank? It's been in a toy tie for Lincoln City since dropping out of the Football Jordan League, but looks like they're on their way back. The way Oliver Rathbone is playing today. As Flat's gonna pump this ball up the field. Not really come to much for Barrow. No, watch they'll win it. Rope. Is it gonna fall to Barrow again? No, it's going all the way back to Flat in the, the midfield battle at the moment. Goal. Nothing there. And watch they'll chase. What are they gonna do with it? Just play it short in their own area. Bringing the ball forward through the middle. Rochdale have done well so far to keep Byron Harrison at bay. I mean, you know, tw 20 goals this season already. Little ball and chip and that I think he's a yep, it's a throw in to the Rochdale. They're all playing pretty well, Rochdale, but they are doing the well. In League One, they are in the playoffs. Rochdale fans are in absolute dreamland at the moment as they go. It could be 2 0. Oh, just wide of the left post. Rochdale really should have made it 2-0 there. Oh, that's a bit of a miss that from Rochdale. I guess the ball breaks, he does, he breaks through and he puts it wide. Really should have scored. Come on. Well, I think Lud definitely should have just passed it to um, Andrews and he would have slid it in quite easily. Just a little sides. tap in into an empty net, so maybe Lud make the wrong decision there. Went for glory. And he should just pass the ball to his left, to his teammate Andrew. As Andrew's now on the ball on the left, number nine. Swings the ball in and easily dealt with by Barrow, but it's back in Rochdale in the. Yep, here it comes again from Rochdale. Ball played in, it's poor. 
Um, is that going to be a free kick? No. Chipped up the field by Barrow, but it's going to come back to them. And Rochdale pretty much on top. Well, at the moment, Rochdale not letting Barrow play. Rochdale piling on the pressure. Quickly cut out by Rowe. No good. And Rochdale again will let it go out for a throw in. To keep the ball a little bit better, Barrow. I know it's, it's difficult and there's a lot of emotion and playing in front of a bigger set, you know, more fans than they normally would. And we have uh, SK subs, no videos. Hi, can you show the footage? No, I cannot show the footage. Copyright strike. Video gets taken down. All I can do is play the audio and do some commentary. From the moment the draw, the draw came, and you know you're in the third round of the FA Cup. It's you know it's going home, and people. Half an hour played, still 1-0 to the Rochdale, maybe it should be 2-0 to Rochdale. Ludwig still be thinking about it when he when he got when he took the shot which went left of the post when he could have just played a little pass to Andrew who would have definitely scored. But at the moment Rochdale are well on top. Having seen him play once or twice this year, he, there's, there's times where he's not been in the game often, but he does come up with a little something when he's in the man that they look to, to, to dig them out of dig them out of trouble. So they can just create or try and create one or two chances for him, get him in the game a little bit more. Then Barrow have an excellent chance of getting back into this. Down the right, can Rochdale do anything here? Well, they've got it on the right. Can they bring it forward? Get the ball in? No, they get a throw in. Which I'm sure they will take long. Go for the long throw. Come on, put a ball in. Well done for watching. Good ball in. And it's headed straight at the goalkeeper from Andrew. All his career, Calvin Andrews, you know, he's pulled off on the back post. He's very, very good in the air. Um, so Calvin Andrew so having they, an they absolute superb season the for the, the Dell. Calvin Andrew about because he's, he's, he's strong in the air. He's a strong boy. Paul Cox really has a problem wondering, to solve at the moment. Are Barrow going to get back in this? How can Barrow change things around? And sometimes when you're doing what you're doing and it's really Is the hard FA Cup, work, anything can do, happen. Not, not as the managers, as players the results the already through of course Man United early today hammered Reading 4-0 and of course Man City had no problem winning at the Olympic Stadium 5-0 as this throwing is taken in by Barrow and headed away by Rochdale it's going to be back in from Williams no it's not he's going to win a free kick and that's going to be the first booking of the game that was a Bad, bad change by number 14. I think it's been blow, you know, sort of blown up a little bit with the fans. Rafa Bone gets the first yellow card of the game. And this will be a free kick to Barrow in a good position. Out on the left. Oh, he's taken the player out. A dreadful challenge. Totally misses the ball and catches the player full on. Rathbone, the first player booked in the game. And Rathbone can't have no complaints with that yellow card. Back on his feet. There's a lot in the box the here for Barrow. The but they need to take a decent free Rathbone kick. And Williams mark, needs to deliver so a bit of quality. Just takes a touch. Takes a touch off one of the big lads. I can see Bennett. I can there. see. Oh, it's here Williams it comes. Oh, it's poor. Time, Not good enough. But it goes back in. in. And it's headed wide by Bellow. Six foot four, stroke six foot five, you know, whatever he is, he's, he's a problem. In, in, you don't Ooh, need, you know, you don't want to mark, especially the crowd. when you move the way he is. There's Logan. Logan being so, such a small keeper, 
It's about to take this um, goal kick. I actually, that was good goalkeeping from Logan. Really put um, number six for, um, off for Babo. Two of them have now fallen to Musa Diara during the first half. The other went for the header, but Logan made it difficult for him. So it really was good goalkeeping. As Babo pumped the ball up. Rochdale will get hold of this. 11 minutes to go till half time. It's been a very good game. And that'll be easy to deal with for the Dow. Of course, a long time ago, Barrow had a massive. Something like seven hours. Of, oh, I think it was, oh, why does it always have to be like the TV vault surprise by Barrow play the replay after replay until they finally won that cup. Tie. I think it's on like seven cup ties, so like five or seven hours of replays. It's a record. Probably no surprise who actually he who were the team they beat that day. Finally, I think it was a fourth round qualifying match. It was Barrow where found the members of the old third division North in 1921. And they have been re-elected on many occasions. I think they were up to ten re-elections. There wasn't much glory for Barrow in the old third division, fourth division days before they were finally elected out in 1972. And Barrow have played at their Holker ground since their formation. They also tried well Speedway so here. In, in, in I mean, and I think stop car racing. Since dropping out the Football League, Barrow have mainly played in the Northern League before the formation of the um, National League, which was known as the Alliance League before coming the conference. With a solid challenge and the spinning ball almost falls into the path of Davis and then Barrow had a bit of time in the newly formed Vanderama North was known as the Blue Square before finally this season becoming a bit of a force in the National Premier they have struggled at the wrong end they do just need to get the ball wide, get the ball wide and get some crosses in. That's their, their best way. Get it to Jordan Williams and let him have a goal at the fullback. So Barrow fans are actually hoping for a return to the Football it. League. Some in that ground can remember it. Some in that ground wouldn't have, wouldn't have even been born when Barrow were last in the Football League. There'll be some old fans that will remember the old Rochdale ground before its amazing redevelopment. As Barrow are looking for this equaliser. Throwing's taken. Maybe a chance this bowl is put in quick. It's not. They've played it out to the left. And now in comes the cross. And that is poor. And Logan will just punch out. And should have cleared it a bit quicker, but not going to get a penalty for that. Shoulder barge. Up you get. Rochdale fan, the Barrow fans, very hopeful that Harrison will won a penalty for the Barrow. And I can tell you that it's not a penalty, no, it's actually more of a dive from Harrison, number 20. Then the shoulder barge. And Rochdale going to bring the ball forward. Barrow had a bit of possession there. But once again, not really taking the advantage. Another booking. I think this is going to be for Barrow. It's not Hughes being booked for Barrow. It's going to be row number 21. Picking up the first booking for Barrow AFC. 
and the Bell of Hedge would have come to boo that decision. Well, he did come in from behind, so that is the quick decision. So, no complaints there, the referee got it spot on. And it wasn't the best of three kicks from, lots of planes on the middle. Playing the ball long over to the left, and that will go out for a throw in to Barrow just by the corner flag. Hill will want the second goal here. It's always the danger, isn't it, when you you want and he's and you, you Keith Hill happy with his Rochdale team. Has the performance been good enough? Team talk from Paul Cox. They could come out in the second half and, and really fancy it and nick a goal. Then there's a, there's a real Barrow clearly it long upfield. Logan. Logan will just roll it out to his number four on the left. He's going to chip it, headed on, and um, Barrow clear, but watch now, nah, it's a free kick a free to kick. Barrow. It's a bit of a high foot there from Callum Camps. He's, he's competitive in the middle of the park, there's a few, you know, a few challenges flying about, people willing to stick their head in, it's definitely competitive. Ah, oh, that's Barrow. nice of Joe, Joe Davey. Blocked by the channel blacklist. Nice try, mate, but you can't use that sort of language on here. All them sort of words are blocked, so you think of typing in the vile language. You can if you want, but it won't show up. These football streams are kept clean. For obvious reasons, as Rochdale come forward, Rathford, uh, that's a good challenge. Well done, Barrow. Well in. Ball cleared up field. And Harrison was disappointed as he as he gobbles on the floor. No, he's not happy with that offside decision. Born with Harrison, he went too quick. So, four minutes to go till half time. Still 1 0 to the Dell. McNulty with the free kick. No, it could be a goal here for Rochdale. Oh, he was no, 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 too slow. Yeah, Henderson just couldn't get it out of his feet. There, tried to dig it and keep keep the move going, but just couldn't. Like, didn't manage to do it. And the floodlights are on at Barrow's ground, Hawker Street. I know they do have a sponsor, Barrow in Furnace something. Could be a financial company, Bank or Building Society. We did actually call the Barrow in Furnace Building Society stadium. Strangely, had a very poor start to the season, only three points in their first seven games. But Paul Cox is seeing the other side of Rochdale today. Currently on a run of ten wins and three defeats in all competitions. Let's see a kick out. Barrow for the ball, but they've the headed it towards a watch the play on the right. Long ball played on the right. And could this be a chance of watch the oh no straight with the arms of the Barrow keeper? Of course the next game I'm doing is Preston v Arsenal. We will be in for a cup shock. Will Arsenal just brush Preston aside? Of course, the last time, of course, Arsenal played Preston in 1998. They went on to win the double. I don't think that's going to happen this season. As Rochdale yeah, looking for to take a second goal into half time. Can they get it? The They've got a throw in out on the right. It's, yeah, it's a chance. It's going to be throwing long. 
interchange Here it comes. Well it's headed on. Oh, and it's cleared by the ice, by the barrow. But it's still with Rochelle on the right. They've won possession back. Oh, it's a good through, Bob. No, no, here. No, it's cleared. Three or four opportunities there. I'm thinking, go on, clear, clear it to the. It's to the interesting. Just don't get near it. Can Barrow the turn the things around in the second the half? The box that, where they did I think we'll have a minute of injury they time. They should have done so beforehand. Rowan is taken. Anderson. Maybe one final chase for Harrison in the first half. got to stay alert Harrison just in case you know because he will get a chance at some point same same with Richie Bennett you know he's had his chance but genuinely generally you'll get of course Diara had chance. the best chance for Barrow had a header but I think Logan came well out to put him off and he headed wide the other chance, of course, was when Logan had to fly out of his area, make the first save, and then he, of course, got at the ball. For Rochdale, of course, they scored the first goal through Ian Henderson, a good header that went into the right corner comfortably. And Lud could have made it 2-0, or should have really passed the Andrews to make it 2-0. There's been... The chances of the first half as Rochdale could maybe make it 2 0. It's in the 18 yard box and it's just again wide of the left post. Good bowling from Rafferty. Yeah, well done. Well, well I can see the fog falling, the mist of the floodlights. Because there will be a time if Barrow are still 1-0 down where they have to go at Rochdale. This is the FA Cup third round. It's a cup match. As both teams... As both teams come out. I say in cup games, there has to be a time when you just got to throw caution to the wind. And go for it. You never know. Maybe you'll win. Maybe you won't. And maybe Barrow will turn it around and get themselves into the fourth round. Or maybe Rochdale will see the gaps and pick Barrow off. And another round, but I think we're ready for the next part of the game. Yep, yeah, we're ready for the second half. Ludwig with two good chances for Rochdale, which he both missed. Will Rochdale live minutes, but only two shots to regret those misses? Who knows? Logan, it's the, the second half. Anything can happen. It falls on. And who's going to kick game. off? But Paul Cox <laughs> knows his team. Realistically, have to score the next goal in this tie to really give them any hope of any sort of result. Yeah, that would help Barrow quite a lot if they could score the next goal. And usually you do need to score the next goal if you want to have a chance of progressing. But if Rochdale scored the next goal, I would say they should be all but through. As Rochdale are about to kick off. It's a pink, black, Nike bowl. And what shall get us so underway for this second way, half in the FA Cup FFA third Cup round? round what shall leading 1 0 to Ian Henderson in the, sec the in the first half? Right. And, and here come what shall straight on the attack and it's put it's out for throwing on the left. Danny Webber used to play for Watford and was a youth player at Man United. That you're, you're in an FA Cup tie um, by, at the end of the game. The Barrow team is still the same as it was in the win, first so half. The is, That'll be the same as the Rochdale team. No changes. So far, there's been none. 
Baron Harrison, 20 goals this season for the Baron number 20. Throwing to the, the barrow, long throw so taken. Uh, it'll be easily cleared, but still with Barrow. Nope, with headed away by sort of Rochdale. Could be their route back into this FA Cup tie. Row. Here is Harrison peeling into the wide area. Also having his shirt peeled off as well. No. Nope. Row once Ooh, again. No. Poor through ball in there. Rochdale might bring this now forward. Oh, it's a poor slip from Barrow. Here. Falls over, and Rochdale now attacking on the left. They're getting closer to the 8 yard box. Ball put in. Nothing. Luckily for Barrow, but is it still with Rochdale? It is. And Rochdale have won a free kick just outside the area. And it's Callum Camp to take it, and that was a poor foul. So Rochdale about to make it 2 0. Callum Camps who can hit it from there as well. So you know, there's a problem here, John Flat. He's got to make sure his wall's in the right place. Make sure he can see the ball. Here comes the free kick any he minute now. There's if he makes sure the, the barrel wall the is ten yards. Flat's now screaming at his wall. FA Cup embarrassment for Rochdale. Seen Calvin Andrew hit them from here as well. Is Camps about to make it 2 0? No. Oh, it was Davis and it was just wide. I was just about to shout goal there. I thought they had gone in. It's a good free kick and just hits the wrong side of the post. That was unlucky. Rochdale have come out for this second half and there's two players down. Another Rochdale free kick. Anderton, the player who has been penalised. And is Anderton going to get a caution? Number three. I think you can see there's two challenges there now in the opening two or three minutes of this half. You can see that Paul Cox has said, listen, Oh, Barrow psychologically starting to lose it. It's a poor challenge. Here comes a free kick, kick for Rochdale, and it's headed away by Lewis Barrow, right and cleared up the pitch, good defending from Barrow, and the Rochdale will play that all the way back to the keeper, and he'll kick it all the way back in. up. The arrow's clearance was up rather than away. McGahey, now Lund. Good ball in from Lund. No, and it's cleared by Barrow. Able to clear now, Harrison. The ball almost breaks to Bennett, but, but Barrow unable to come forward, and Rochdale are starting to dominate this second half. Number six puts the ball in. Could it be just a matter of time before Rochdale make it two 0 It's out on the left. Watch they'll get that bowling. Can they get the crossing? Andrew look for a way through. No, but Barrow, how far up the pitch can they get? Oh, could this be a chance at last for Barrow in the second half? Ball's played in, it's poor, and Rochdale will now bring the ball forward. Oh, but Rochdale lose it, so Barrow might have a chance on the left. Number 11, oh, he lost it cheaply. Read the play very well and snuffed out the danger. Camp just took the ball. Very good signing, the ball's Keith. played up. And the ball is town. whacked out of the ground by Diari. He knows, he knows his way around the football pitch very streetwise. He knows, he knows what he's doing. He's made a few cute, cute challenges in this game that, um, you know, that Byron Harrison and Richie Bennett have. They'll be, they'll be thinking, how do I get, how do I get round him? What's the way to do it? And they have to switch their brain on and think. They want to play at a higher level. Byron Harrison, number six. He's going to gonna go long. He's going to go nope. Gets the ball, swings it in, and the barrow keeper will 
Just pick it up and kick it down the pitch. Wasting no time. Nolte rising above Harrison, but Rafferty almost playing a central Back defender into trouble. Keeper. Slightly barrel players. Oh, watch the one mind if it goes a bit scrappy. Just giving the strikers no chance to, to get into the game because even if they, the they are sort of wrestling for it and do manage to still healthy the way we like it. We're they in the green. Them, so inevitably they end up getting outnumbered and lose the ball. Harrison working hard there. Once his game's over, I'll take a bit of a rest and get everything set up for the game at Deepdale. And they're the scraps that Harrison's having to work with, trying to He's 25, 30 yards from goal. He shouldn't be. As Barrow are trying to forge a chance. It's a throw in. Ball swung in, and it'll Barrow come to a game. Again, nothing for Barrow. But Barrow trying to pull the pressure on. Not having much success down this left side. Bennett to number 10. He swings it in. Could this be? No, it won't be. He's going to be first to the ball. It's Barrow. Ball put in again, and nothing, and Rochdale will come away with it. Barrow going to have to start being more clinical in that final third, if they want to at least get back to Rochdale or into the fourth round. It's not unheard of for teams to come back from 1-0 down in the third round and win 2-1. It's no good having the ball in the final third and being as uneffective as Bow have been in this second half. As Rochdale they'll bring the ball forward. Henderson, that's uh, not really good. And watch, oh, it's not headed out very well by Barrow. So it's still with Rochdale. Who do look a threat up front. Can Davis do anything? Continues. Just a goal kick to Barrow. Now if you like a bit of sportsmanship between Davis and the Barrow player. They might have landed over a heap over the goal line into the Ad Hordings, but they both got up and both gave each other a little pat. And a smile, so it's all Williams, good sportsmanship. Doesn't pick out Bennett. Now Henderson. Barrow with the ball in their own half. And I don't think Flat was very happy with that as he boots it down the pitch. Much well, still first to the ball of the game. Watch well so them trying to bring the ball forward, and they want to throw in, which, Henderson, which Andrews was going to take to be thrown to someone else. I think Rafferty's the man to take this throw in. Having a very good game today for Rochdale. He is their right back, but he's a very good utility player. Rafferty once again. Really gets there before Andrew, but nowhere to go really. Rowe. Oh, I think Watch will be quite happy for yeah, Barrow to be in that Richie part of the pitch. Well, could be a chance here for Barrow if they can play the ball. They're going all the way to the left and they've lost it. Disappointing, and has Barrow won a throw in, or is that a watch they'll throw in? It's a throw in to Barrow, they're going to take it long. But when this ball comes in the box, all the Barrow players have to attack it. Well, here goes Williams with the long throw, number 11. Long throw in, and again, watch they will think they've dealt with it, it's come back out. Barrow going backwards, Harvey. long Harvey ball Anderson. into the box, oh, it's not good enough again. Just a throw in to Barrow. 
can, there's nothing wrong with a long pass. But it's, you know, you're putting it so high, you, you, you're making the defender and play for every single time. the beauty of the floodlights. Williams. That's good play by Rafa. And that's the first time the stream has stopped. The stream has froze. Come back on. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, you're joking. So I've got a re... Oh. Apologise, the stream has stopped. And we're going to have to reload it in. I hope we don't get this problem. Well, it's only the first time that's happened as we wait for the stream to restart. Oh, I do apologise. Waiting, waiting, nearly there. Ad oh, that's the first advert closed, but we've got another. F Come on, go a bit quicker. Nine, eight, six, three, two, and I think that should be done. All the adverts are now going to give me another advert. Go away. Come on, reload well so far hopefully that was the first thing of time the stream has stopped and that'll be the last the time he's the Rochdale captain as well yeah he's a very good footballer I think he's got a I'm watching it on www.vbox.bz slash soccer just type in VIP box live football streaming and you should get the game as Rochdale Win another throw in good defending from Barrow. Rochdale have just changed gear now. The sense that there's, there's opportunity. You know, you see Danny Livesey there shaking his shaking his head at the fact that Barrow Barrow are under pressure. He there's also quick free, which also Anderson. does live streaming. And, the ball just spinning away off head and, and Rochdale the win a corner. Trying to organise things because at the moment. Barrow are giving Rochdale far too much respect around their own penalty area. Yeah, and he, he's, he's played I think Rochdale have played very well, pitch, properly containing Barrow. And as a defender, he'll know it's a matter of time before you, you know, Rochdale get a decent chance and he doesn't want that to happen. He's got a fair play to him. He's telling a few of his players around him it's not good enough. And here comes the corner. Could this be 2-0 to the Dell? Steve Davis corner. Produced the goal in the first half. So Davis with the corner swings Davis in, headed out. Oh, it's somehow it doesn't go in, it and it's a throw in to Rochdale. Great delivery again there from Davis. It was causing them a lot of Bailey there with a Barrow crucial with a clearance of off the line. And Rafferty makes the run towards the near post on so many occasions, and Barrow never seemed to pick him up. Throwing taken. Watch on the ball. Ball plug. Gonna get in there. Are they gonna win a corner? It's another corner to Rochdale. As we're coming up to the hour mark. Good feet, Oli Rathbone. He's he's the one that in and around the just they try and get it into his from gone to Rochdale and fashioning that a career for for himself. Corner in and it's headed away. Again, for but some reason, my stream says the video output is low. Be a very good ball for Davis. As we do have one Jay viewer. Lipsy to the rescue for Barrow, not for the first time. Now Keane. And the touch and from Hughes. And that be another corner by the looks of it to Barrow. I think you see the difference in... And the stream is now healthy again. And we've hit that hour mark, half an hour for Barrow to get themselves back in this game. And that is cleared by Rochdale, far away. To number 40 for Rochdale. And he holds the ball up, plays it short, onto the right, and Rochdale again, he come away with it. What can number six do? A little pass. Oh, just wide off the post from Davis. Chance after chance now. 
they're coming. You can you can sense it's coming, but you've got to put you've got to make sure and put one copyright. Great, great FM, Cannot David show the footage due to copyright. The FA would just remove it straight away. Here was the earlier opportunity. It was Beely hooking the ball away as Lund looked to apply the finishing touch. You can watch the match live at VIP Box. And it's still Rochdale dominating this game. Could be 2 it is 2-0 to the Rochdale. Ian Anderson, number 40 with his second of the game. And that will be the icing on the cake, I think. Rochdale are on their way to the fourth round. A really good goal out by Rochdale. Some good passing. Picks it off from the halfway line. A lovely ball played through here. Straight through to Henderson. And Henderson just runs through and places the ball straight past. Brilliant goal. Superb from Rochdale. Rochdale looks like they're joining their Manchester neighbours, Man United and Man City in the fourth round. And do Rochdale fans fancy away at the Etienne or away at Old Trafford? It's been a professional performance from the League One side. And they're showing why they're in the playoffs in League One. And pushing for a place in the championship. The key field there looks well delighted. The side have applied themselves very well. What it does to the Barrow players mentally now as well, it just deflates you again. Well, can Barrow find something in this game? Or are they done for as Barrow come forward with Harrison on the right, plays it up, ball put in. Again, too easy for Rochdale. I'm not supporting anybody. I am neutral, Diddy Wilkes. I'm a neutral. My team went out in the first round of Bracknell Town. So I'm a total neutral in the FA Cup. My team is Gillingham Football Club. I'm surprised, surprised. Like many, got rid of their manager during the transfer window. Dodgy chairman. But this is football passion. Here at Panini Football, here on YouTube. A passion for commentary and a passion for watching football at all levels. As Rocha will take this throw in on the left. Are they going to throw it in long? No. And it just ends up being a goal kick to the barrel. Just type in VIP football streaming and you'll get it on Google. Also, C R I C three. They also do live streaming, Sky Sports and BT Sports and all the other sports channels. Uploading football now. The FA, the English Football League, UEFA, FIFA, they do block it worldwide. Not even a chance to dispute it. Long ball played here by Rochdale on the left. And Barrow tried to come forward again, but again, watch will just ease the ball forward. Looking now for a third goal. Oh, watch. Oh, Barrow putting it out for a corner to watch the on the right. 
Looks a bit of a hopeless task now for Barrow. Rochdale looking very relaxed out there. Professional attitude. Uh, it's a bit deep and Rochdale won't be doing anything there as Barrow clear it. How far can they get? Not far, halfway line and Rochdale pick it up again. They're going to have to do it all over again Rochdale but they won't mind as they pass it back to their man in the goal between the sticks and he kicks it out. Just type in Google live free football streaming. And there you go, watch down now. The That's a poor ball play through. And Barrow will just give it back to watch down. Here he goes, there's goal score, two goals, Henderson. And he puts it out for a throw in. Confined to any particular position, which is causing barrel problems as well. It's pulling them about. They don't know whether to stick or twist. Watch still coming forward again. Could this be 3 0 to the Dell? Is he going to take it? Ooh. That's wide. Calls Barrow having an absolute superb season in the National Premier League or National League. Could they make it back to the Football League the first time since they were voted out in 1972? Like I said, replaced by Hereford United. I'm sure like Rochdale Barrow would have preferred one of the Premier League sides in the um, FA Cup third round. He's way offside. And it, again, that's even that. It's just a chance, potential chance that's fashioned from from nothing really. It's not been structured. It's not been built up. It's just well, I think Barrow. I will say Barrow have given it their best. But I think it's fair to say Watchdale have been the better team. But Watchdale are the team from League One, Anderson. two divisions higher, and it does show tonight. There's Rochdale clearing up things in defence. Ball played right up. And they'll go out. Let's throw into Rochdale on the halfway line. No, it's a difficult place to go to anyway, not a, especially when they're playing in the way that they're playing here. It's um as as you know, as we said before, Keith Hill's got them well well drilled. He's got good players. And they're enjoying the football, and that's a recipe for, for for success. So anybody coming up against that at any level, going to have a, a tough game on the hands because they know what they're doing. And here they are. They take this throwing. They've had two top ten finishes. And they're currently comfortably in the playoff zone. Well, watch. They did play many years in the old fourth division. Division 3, League 2, basically winning three promotions via the changing of the league. But in the space of a couple of years, they finally got promotion, then were relegated again before winning promotion again a couple of, in the space of a few years. And I've got to say, they are playing amazing football in League 1. They've established themselves been saying it all game the strikers need something and they need some somebody in the midfield who can put the foot on the ball and try and fashion out a chance or I've got to say to the Watchdale the supporters of the say they must be in dreamland actually looking towards the championship instead of well, dropping out of the league behind. 20 minutes left and it's been pretty much a comfortable second half for Watchdale as number 23 right comes on for Barrow. 
And hello, Mr. Sega Sox, aka Mr. Stella Boxhead. And how are Leicester doing? I just thought a bit of Barrow and Rochdale would be a good match. Has been a bad match. Number seven, Paul Worth is coming off. When you when you one nil down and there's an hour gone before Rochdale get the second goal, you've got you've got to go for it. You've been you know you've been under pressure. You know you've not been the better side. You have to change something. Still got believe in this Stone Ages people who don't know how to use a search engine. This is a chance for the barrel. Straight at the keeper. And surprise, surprise, he's got his hands on his head. Is that Howarth has just come on? Yeah, great, great play from Howarth, I think. That's what's been missing. Get wide, get the crosses in. And you so can see Leicester on their way to the fourth round. That we've not seen all day. Richie Bennett unable to add to his eight goals so far this season. Barrow actually going to get a consolation. It's well to hold off the challenge. Now Williams. It's a first touch for Wright. And Howarth in support. And he's looking for Split Bailey on his outside. And it was Calvin Andrew getting all the way back there to make the challenge. Good play there actually from Barrow. First time they've actually played. Yeah, it's not bad for Leicester one. City Good winning two when that could have some part. Again. Oh, I do think Leicester City back. have a and chance of winning the FA Cup. As Barrow now going to take this throw in. Could they get a goal, goal out of this? Not Barrow. with that, they won't. And Rochdale clear it. And Barrow going to come forward Maybe again. again forward. Looking for a way Check back in this game. Watch still got a few Lipsy. men behind the ball. Ball played in the 18 yard box. Close Nobody the there. Watch still clear it. It's back in there. Almost again, Watch still first bad, to it. Good he defending. Andrew's been their best, behaved, best defender today. He's been fantastic. Every time the ball's come in, he's been there. He's been strong. He's cleared headers. As well as being up and supporting the attackers, he's been all over the place. We'll watch they'll get a third goal in this game. Be honest, we'd watch that it doesn't matter they're 2-0 to the good. As long as they've got both feet in the fourth round unless Barrow can pull a rabbit out of the hat. And that just goes past the goal and there's no Barrow player there to make contact but Barrow have it on the right and he goes out for throwing substitutions gives a little bit different dynamic to the way Barrow are going about the football they're playing 10 yards further forward they're getting crosses in and they're looking now just to to pass the ball a little bit in the attacking half well Barrow gonna have to do something in that attacking third and they've lost the ball on the near the halfway. And I watch they're going to come forward. Number six on the, the right. Plays it back to the middle. Looks like Rochdale are going to come forward. Running into the middle. It's a poor ball. And again, Barrow not clearing their lines very well. Advantage to the Rochdale and that's into the crowd. And on the break, Rochdale still look very dangerous. Yeah, I think uh, Rathbone there he just. I think Rathbone there, number 14. Why not? He's been, he's been he hits the plastic the behind the box, or the plastic sponsor. The box, just didn't get his head over the ball and managed to hit the target, but he's played with good freedom today, Rathbone. Well, it says the plastic like man. As Barrow are uh, judged offside, 100% there. Once again, Harrison not able to hold his line. 50 minutes to go. 
in the Hulk League, they've had a few chances and managed to get himself... That's all uh, Barrow have to find two goals to the least force we play. I don't think that's through any fault of his own, he's put a shift in up there with Bennett, but hopefully, you know, in the next 15 minutes he can get himself in and around the edge of the box or in the box and just get him to get something all for himself. All the ball's going to go into the watch still area, is, is it? Well, good defending net by Barrow. And the like Barrow are going to try again. And Rochdale have dealt with it easy as can be. Like they've done for most of the game. It's been quite comfortable for Rochdale. Can't fault Barrow for effort. They've given it all they've got. But they are up against a very, very accomplished League One side as number 10 Hannah comes on the pitch for Barrow obviously he's got to be Scottish and it's Richard Bennett coming off but can Ross Hannah change things around for the Barrow with Howard and Akeel Wright they've made a little bit of a difference so with fresh legs and Hannah there as well it might make just give Barrow something to play for in the last 10-15 minutes. Well, it's now 13 minutes left for Barrow to get back into this game. Well, I think it's a bit of a toll order. I can't see watch they'll surrender in two goals. I can get, I can have more feeling that Rochdale are going to make it 3 0 by the end of this game. That's a bit. Number 6. Just playing your hand right. Ooh. Maybe can Barrow do something as they come down this left side. And it puts the ball in. And it's going into the arms of the keeper. And that's a free kick. That's a foul on the keeper. And that comes in. I think you'll find. Yeah. Logan jumps up, grabs the ball, and Harrison kind of bundles him over. That's the quick decision from the referee. Not sure who the referee is today. He's having a good game. Harvey. And that's the way referees should be. And the referee today is David Webb. And the attendance here at Hulk Park is 4,414. Because Keith Keane's given him a good two-handed shot. Just knocked him off balance. This time. There's a player down for Barrow, and that will be a free kick. And Flats, the keeper, will take it. Ian Henderson may not get too many more opportunities to complete his hat trick. Their first Nearly up to the last 10 Very minutes right. as right. the keeper nice tries to get the ball in the 8 yard box. Well. And it goes for nowhere for. No, that is poor from Barrow. And that'll just be a goal kick, it's poor effort the there the from there. Harris. So you hope, you know, he puts the ball wide. Disappointing that. And. Cannon number 27 is going to come on for Rochdale. So Henderson will not be completing his hat trick today. The score of two goals. I think they're going to rest him as he is a very vital player for Rochdale in their bid to bring championship football to the Spotlands for the first time this season. As Rochdale are concerned with 10 minutes to go. The game is over and Rochdale going to the fourth round. Can Cannon come on and make it 
Do you think the sub? Keith Hill will be thinking if he you know, can get him back on the goal scoring trail there's a good opportunity for him to do it here today there's Barrow uh, on, the, on the last legs at the back good passing from Rochdale stroking the ball around nicely on the green pitch it's not the best of pitches but it's not the worst of pitches old days in the third round when the players used to play in pure mud they were the days I remember and that was in the early 90s and mid 90s was it 2000 it was 2004 when Chelsea played on a sand on a sand pitch as Rochdale will have no problem clearing up Logan boots it upfield which has been a comfortable performance for Rochdale. Twice in their history, both at the old Wembley and the As Rochdale come forward, got to play the right pass. Is he going to shoot for goal? He is. Is he going to be three? If he take it, is it three? No, it's not. He rebounds out. But the ball's still with Rochdale. We need to get it back in the 18 yard box. Cross played in. Could have been dealt Davis better by Barrow. It's a free kick. Last ten minutes, you've got the Barrow centre There's eight minutes tired. left of this third round. Like Match Gavin at Andrew, Barrow in Furnace. Own chance there. Rathbone wanted to get a shot off. Really could have squared it to London. London might have been able to put it in a little bit easier. The home fans hoping the referee adds time on. He retired his shoelaces. Oh, I think there'll be two minutes injury time, if that. Be nice for the Barrow fans to to see a goal from their team. They've come out in, you know, in their horses today. And been Barrow been in the throw in. Up, and it's just nice for them to, to have something to go home and cheer about. Long throw. Barrow won the two previous Comes back to Anston. Is he gonna try? Is he gonna do nothing? He's gonna have to go all the way back. It's no good. And it's kicked long by the keeper. Can Barrow come forward? Can Barrow at least get a consolation goal? It's good defending that from Rochdale throwing. Then, and if one player was wearing a white shirt for Barrow, Susie it is now the bottom half is now brown with mud. Long throw for Barrow. Long throw. Ball played over and Rochdale will clear it out for another throw in. They're 2 0 up, they're in the fourth round. So say it's going to be a tall ask for Rochdale to make. To lose this game, oh, it's not good enough by Barrow. Headed away, but still with Barrow on the left, and they'll settle for a throw in. Barrow have to show more urgency as Williams has to go long with this throw in. Is this a chance for Barrow? Oh, nothing comes of it. Back on the left, oh dear. Looks like Barrow have run out of ideas here. Taken down neatly by Beely. They're in plenty of possession. Head right in support on his outside. But that's we'll a good ball to through. pick up Howard. And it may drop inside the penalty area for Anderton. And Rochdale with a tackling and they yeah, clear it up the field. Him. The way they, they're, trying to, they're trying to, they've changed it up. It's taken them 18 minutes but they've changed it a bit. They're trying to pass down the sides and get people on the ball. In and around the box, whether that's to cross it or, as you see there, to slide it into. Barrow heading it around oh, to nobody. Ahead, and Rochdale clear it up field. I think Rochdale now are quite happy just to sit back and let Barrow come at them. They're 2 0 up. Rochdale oh, see their work is done and they've done a superb a job. A bit of cramp there from, from one of the Barrow the players. He'll feel like he's um, been hard done to today. He's put in such a shift without. He's worked hard, but Harrison, a couple of times, unable to keep on side. 
and he's not been involved if in any Anderton of that. Anderton takes this throwing for Bello. <laughs> and I sneeze. And again, it's in the Barrow half, which is no use. Will Watch still try and get that third goal. Well, they quite happy now just to sit back, soak up the pressure. Mm, it's in the right. middle. Header. I think this Caps. is going to be back to flat, so he's going to kick it long. So, free kick to Rochdale. Time ticking down. It dominated the game, you know, controlled the game. Uh, Alan number 24 coming on. Oliver Rathbone will be going off. Rathbone gets a deserved round of applause as well as he heads off. And the 21 year old Jamie Allen comes on. He's been part of the Rochdale setup since the age of eight. And it's a necessity for clubs of Rochdale stature to produce their own players. Yeah, it's, it's, good to, it's good to see. And Keith Hill obviously. Hop on line for Rochdale. Ball played straight up there. To develop I think it's just, the yep, just a free kick to the, the barrow. Of course, next around 5.30 we'll have so Arsenal v Preston North End. I say Arsenal will be the favourites to put the Deepdale Club out of the cup, but this is the FA Cup. And after Arsenal's bizarre match at AFC Bournemouth where they were 3-0 down, it's not a great comeback. The team they should be beating if they're going to win the Premier League. So, Matt and their Arsenal approach Preston North End. I'm not sure they can do it again if they go 3 0 down again. But I'd say, Preston fans, it's the other cup and you could get a famous win over the Emirates side. The run's made by Allen down the centre, but just beyond him. And the bowl is with flat. He boots out. Rochdale are first at the bowl. It looks like Barrow are tiring now. Not able to go for. They haven't. Really looks like they haven't got the legs. As the one of the Rochdale players pulls up with a bit of cramp. I think he's got cramp. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's put a lot of mileage up and down the right hand side. You can see the pitch is just getting a little, little bit heavy here. And. No. Well, these non-league grounds, the pitches <laughs> will get heavy. Oh, it could be the, the Lund. final goal. It'll be today, just the corner to, to Rochdale. As Harvey concedes the corner. All game is broken forward, Lund. He's, you know, the level of energy that he's shown, and then the level of composure and quality when he's got. Well, I would say it looks like Baron have run out of ball. energy. They've the hit the wall. And that will suit Rochdale fine as they're 2-0 up. They're going to take the corner. I'm going to play it short. We're in the last minute of normal time. I want to go two minutes of injury time. So watch still containing the ball very well in the barrel half. Well, this will be I don't think they're looking for that third for goal. They don't have to two nil up. As well. here is they might have a chance here. Is it going to be three? No, Barrow. How far can Barrow get? Not far. Hasn't got the legs. But they win the free kick. And how many minutes of injury time? We got four games. minutes of injury time. You wonder where they'd be in League One because they look a very, very good outfit as we tick into four minutes of added time. Without a doubt, they've, they've played some nice football today. And there's a player down for Rochdale. It shows why they are where they are in League One, why they're putting in the levels of performances that they are. I think you 
prefer to have had that at the beginning than have it mid-season because now they've, they've got a bit of momentum. So Keith Hill will be happy with, with, with everything, the way his team's gone about the business. They've not come here and, and taken it lightly. They've come here, competed, scored the goals and done a very professional job. Well, there's a problem there for Keith Keane. He caught something in the face as he challenged Ross Hanna. Just taking one across the top of his nose. Somebody's a flashing, flashed arm or elbow. Not intentional. Well, in fairness, Keith Keane has also dished out a bit as well today himself. He has from the very first minute. He, he left, he's left his mark on a few people. He won't be too concerned by that. No, not at all. He's had, a, he's had a solid game. You can, you can see his experience from, from the very beginning of the game. Well, this will be the third appearance in the fourth round in four seasons for Rochdale. In the days when they were embarrassed by the likes of Grantham, Northwich, Victoria, Scarborough and Droylston. Back in the 1970s and 80s, now seem a long time ago. Well, there was four minutes of injury time. I don't know what the referee is talking to the keeper or something. The game's at a standstill. Well, look to make a change. Paul Casson looks on. And one minute four and yeah, six minutes. Season. We're in the pure healthy it's a green round. light. It's a, it's, a, it's a good achievement. But just proved today that it's one, one step too far. Brochdale have been of a much better quality. Uh, Barrow can be proud of themselves. They just they were beaten by the better team. And Keane has been taken off. And that is Cavan has come on. Livesey. As the game starts to slow down, Rochdale are definitely holding things very nicely here. Is this going to be three? No, side netting. Ludes had a few chances and has not got on the score sheet as we're in the last minute of injury time. Will the referee add that bit of stoppage? As, as Flat boots the ball out. Now here comes, no, it's a poor ball straight to Logan, he kicks it, and it'll be Barrow to the ball first, and Barrow, again, not able to make anything happen, Barrow do the done and dusted. Oh, God's sake, it's been a professional performance from Rochdale. Whereas Rochdale have put in a very Been a foul there. Who will that free kick well, go well to? It will be a free kick to Rochdale to end the match. Will Anterton see a yellow card? I'd like to say David Webb's had a superb game. Top referee in. Right. I would have, I would have thought He's Barrow not been noticed in this game. And that means so top referee in all the way. Corners, so here's a, a chance for Rochdale to make it three. The or will they be quite happy just to blast it out deal. the ground? No, it's in the box. They lead away by Rochdale. The and here come Rochdale again. Hoofed away. Harrison. I think any minute now the referee will blow his whistle. So throw him to Rochdale, just waiting for the referee to blow his whistle. Rochdale will be a team to avoid in the fourth round draw, which takes place on Monday. Feely. It's just a consolation goal, Barrow are trying to find. To I don't think they'll find it. And yeah, yeah, it's all the way back to their keeper, he kicks it out. Still the referee is yet to blow, we're now into the 95th minute. I think despite the two goals he's conceded, John Flats had a good debut today as well. You know, he's cleared his lines, you've seen him screaming and shouting at his defenders when he's needed to. 
he's you know, put in a good display. Williams with the ball in. Here is an opportunity. Oh, that was a chance for Barrow right and Harris in the game. He hits Howard wide. 10, 20 minutes earlier before he gets there was a chance there, there for consolation for Barrow, but Harrison unable to convert his chance. Just not That's a poor that miss from, from the Barrow number today. 20. Well, we're coming up to 96 minutes. Six minutes of injury time. Well, I think when well. Logan boots, it should be the final whistle. And it's not. Free kick to Rochdale. Oh, more injury timing play by this referee. And there's a Watchdale fan singing, We're Watchdale till we die. Low supporters. Here come Watchdale, are they going to make it three? I don't think so. This ball may be whipped in. in the or are they just going to hold it up? The they are. Whistle goes and it's been a job well done by Keith Hill and Rochdale. No FA Cup upset in Cumbria today. And that's the first match done and dusted. Rochdale are in the fourth round. Looking for Man United or Man City in the fourth round, I'm sure. Barrow, they gave it their best shot, but then they watched their fifth in the um, playoffs, looking to go up to the championship, play the professional performance. Keithill could be very proud of that performance. And the final score, Barrow nil, Rochdale 2. I'll be back in about just under half an hour with Arsenal's trip to Deepdale to play Preston North End. And will we get that cup shock? Anyway, for now, I'll say goodbye.